Hey there, welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan, and in today's tutorial video, what I'm going to do is teach you how you can sort your posts by most popular in Oxygen. This is a relatively simple tutorial that adds a custom meta key. Every time a post gets viewed, that meta key field increases by one, and then the repeater handles sorting that for you automatically. What's cool about that too is then you can take that meta key and you can output it using dynamic data on your site. So if you want people to be able to see how many times a post was viewed, that can be done as well. Now with that, I also have a goal this year. So right now the channel is approaching 3000 subscribers, which is just absolutely amazing, but I wanna reach 5,000 before the end of the year. And I have a lot of really interesting content ideas, kind of evolutions to the way that this content is shared uh, through these videos. And I'm going to experiment with that as we continue, but I need your help to get to that 5,000. And I think that we can achieve it pretty handsomely before the end of the year. So just wanted to say thank you for the support so far and uh, you know, thank you for the continued support. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right into the video for today. Today, what I'm going to do is show you how you can use the repeater element in Oxygen to display the post view count of a given post. Now, this is essentially the same thing as sorting by most popular posts. And the way that it determines most popular posts is just simply based on the number of views that a given post has. Now, this is relatively simple to set up and the code that you need will be provided for you at the link in the description below. Now, what we're going to do to get started is go add the code snippets plugin. So this is going to be where we're gonna add a couple of basically code snippets that are going to allow us to add a meta key, which is essentially just a custom field. And that will let us configure the post to be sorted by most popular. Go ahead and add a new code snippet and we can just call this one post views count function and you're gonna paste in the code snippet at the link in the description below. This is the first of two, so just go ahead and save changes and activate, and then we're gonna click on add new once one more time. This one here we'll just call count single posts, and once again, there's this second code snippet. Go ahead and paste that in. Scroll down, save changes and activate, and now the code snippets portion of this tutorial is done. We're gonna jump over here to our oxygen templates, and we're gonna add a new template which will be for our blog posts singular view. So we'll just name this one single posts. I'm going to inherit the main template, set this to apply to the singular post type and just publish and then edit with oxygen. So what we'll do here is add a section and then we're going to set this as our featured image so that that way we have a nice background image, set it to cover left 50 and top 50%. Then we'll go ahead and stick in a heading and this heading is going to be our post title. So just use the dynamic data function for inserting the post title. We'll change this to be white so it's actually readable. We're gonna stick in another section here and then inside of this, we're gonna use the columns element and make it go 60, 40. So on the left side, we're gonna have our actual post content. And then on the right side, we're going to have the counter. Now we're gonna add a text element here and we're just gonna type posted by, and this is going to use the insert data function for the author's name. So we'll just insert that. In my case, my user account is just called demo. Let's add some margin on the right hand side. So 16 pixels to keep things consistent in intervals of 16. And then in this text block, what we're gonna do is type post views, and we're gonna go to insert data. Click on the custom field meta options. And what we're gonna type is the function name that we added earlier in code snippets. So as you can see, it's permaslug underscore post underscore views underscore count. And as you notice, what's gonna end up happening as soon as you add that in is that the post views is now inserted there for us automatically. So this particular post I've viewed quite a few times. So of course you can see it has post views is set to 18. So now what we'll do is go ahead and add another text element here. We'll take this outside of that other div and then we're just gonna set this to our post content so we actually have you know, the text for the individual post there. On the right hand side, what we're gonna do is add in a heading, change the tag here to H4 to make it smaller, and then we'll call this one popular posts. Now what we're gonna do is add in 16 pixels of margin to add some padding there. And then we're gonna go add in the repeater element. What we'll do is change the query to manual and this is where we're gonna add a custom query string and what that's gonna do for us is basically pull in all of our recent posts and then it's gonna use that same meta key that we added just a little bit ago to sort the posts by most popular. Now this is completely automatic and what ends up happening is it's adding that value to the post meta table. So there's not a custom field for you in the back end to actually go manipulate that number. But what this is allowing you to do is basically automatically sort posts 
by which one has been viewed most often. Now, of course, as you can see in that string there, there's post type equals post, so you can change that to anything you want. It could be product, it could be your custom post type name. You can add you know, taxonomies. Basically, anything that you can put in this manual query string will work in this particular case. Now inside of this repeater, let's go ahead and add some content. So the first thing we're gonna do is pop in a link wrapper. We're gonna set this width to 100%. Stick in another div inside of this link wrapper, make it 100 pixels wide and tall. And then we're gonna use that thumbnail from our post featured image for that div, set it to cover, and then left 50 and top 50%. We're gonna set that link wrapper to left align so it pushes our image to the left hand side. 16 pixels of margin underneath that to give it some breathing room. We're gonna set that link wrapper to the post permalink so it automatically takes the user to that link. And then what we need to do is add in another div so that we can have our post content like our title and our excerpt as well as our view count on the right hand side of this image. And then that way the alignment works properly for us. So you can see that the div is now beneath the image. So we'll add 16 pixels of margin to the left hand side. Go back to that link wrapper and change it to stack horizontally. And then inside of this div, we're gonna stick in a text element of course it's blue because it's inside of a link wrapper, but we're gonna go back to insert data, go with the post title. Now underneath that, we're gonna add 16 pixels of padding to push that down from the top of the container. Add in another text element. We're gonna shrink this one's font size down a bit, and then this is going to be our post counter. So this is gonna just be views, whatever you wanna say, you could say post count, views, whatever. Same thing, we need to go add that custom field meta key, so premise lug underscore post underscore views underscore count, insert that. And now you can see it's going to display the views of every single post there for us. And as you can see, it's all sorted by highest to lowest. Change the alignment to left align there so it pushes everything in an even line. And then we're gonna just change the text color here so it's dark and not that blue color. Just to give this a little bit of breathing space, let's add eight pixels of margin underneath that text element there. Let's go take a look on the front end and you can see what we have now. So of course we have our post views right at the top of the single post view, and this is going to be specifically for the post that you're viewing. And then on the right hand side, we have a repeater that displays our popular posts sorted by the view count. So if you click on one of those, of course the view goes up. So for instance, if you clicked on that one with a little yellow square two or three times, it's gonna then bump up to either second, you know, third or second place and this is going to be automatic for you. Now, of course, you can set this on any repeater across your entire site, whether it's on an archive template or wherever you need it to be. In this particular case, you might see this on a real blog where you have that sidebar that displays popular posts. So try to give you the most practical example here. Now, of course, we switched over to another post here and you can see this one's changed to have a post views of nine. So this is going to be automatic for you. Now, of course, you don't have to add that text field if you don't want where it displays the post views of a given post, but it is available for you. And that's pretty much it. So it's relatively simple for you to be able to set up a post view counter and display that on the front end. And then of course, sort posts by most popular. As I mentioned earlier, the code used in this particular tutorial will be found at the link in the description below. So be sure to check that out. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.